Hi, Liam and Gloria. Yes, a very emotional day and a very important day here for the people of South End. I've actually just come down to South End Civic Centre and on that road behind me, the coffin carrying Sir David Amos has just been taken through on a horse-drawn carriage. Four beautiful black horses were carrying that coffin. It really was a very emotional and moving spectacle. And that horse-drawn carriage paused very briefly just outside the civic centre behind me here and the people fell silent and bowed their heads and it remained there for about a minute and then the crowd that had gathered there then broke into applause for a very much loved and very respected public servant. The horse-drawn carriage then continued down the road where Sir David Amos's constituency office was, that's where he worked. It will pause again there where I'm sure there are very similar scenes happening there and then his body will be taken to a chapel of rest tonight before that much larger event at Westminster Cathedral tomorrow. So the service happened about 500 metres up the road in that direction at St Mary's Church in Prittlewell and the, the service was played out on loudspeakers and people were gathering in the streets and they were etching to hear uh, what was being said across those loudspeakers. And the coffin was draped in a union flag and again the crowds fell silent as the coffin was taken into the church. And the service began with a statement from the family of Sir David Amos. It was read out by a family friend. Uh, Anne Widdicombe, she read, these are the words of the family, that as a family we are trying to understand why this awful thing has occurred. Nobody should die in that way. Nobody. They said, please let some good come from this tragedy. We are absolutely broken, but we will survive and carry on for a wonderful and inspiring man. Really a very moving part of that service. Lots of people were in tears outside of the service uh, listening to those words. A eulogy was then given by a close friend of Sir David, uh, MP Marc Francois, who is from neighbouring Rayleigh. He spoke to me before the service about giving that eulogy. This is what he told me. I think it's, it's very important to, to Lady Julia and their children because... They've seen a massive outpouring of sympathy and empathy, not just from the people of South End, who I think genuinely loved David, but also from people across the whole of the United Kingdom. So this is an opportunity, if you like, for South End to grieve and to pay its respects to a man who was a phenomenal constituency MP. You were a very close friend of Sir David and you have the honour of doing the eulogy today. First of all, how are you feeling about that? And secondly, can you tell us a little bit about what you will be speaking about in remembering your friend? Well, I, I, I am honoured that, that, that Lady Julie has asked me to deliver the eulogy today. There's another service at Westminster tomorrow, a full requiem mass, and Anne Widdicombe will, will be giving the eulogy then. And there's also going to be, I understand, a message from His Holiness Pope Francis, uh, which will be read out in the cathedral as well. I'm going to do my best to do David justice. If I, if I can do that, then uh, hopefully I'll, it'll have been worth my turning up. And I just want to try and you know, explain to people in the church what kind of a man he was, why you've seen this outpouring of, of love for the guy, um, and maybe throw in a couple of light-hearted anecdotes, because whenever you talk about David, inevitably there's an element of, of, of humour. He was... It was a bit of a legend, really, and I'm going to try and explain why I say that and uh, you know, why I think he'll be uh, remembered for an extremely long time. If it's anything like the way you spoke in the comments, I'm sure it'll be very emotional and, and a touch of humour in there as well. And you, you touched there upon the way he will be remembered by you. How will he be remembered by this town and what legacy does he leave behind? Well, you're standing in the legacy. Because of David, before long, this will be the city of South End. And he was asked by a local newspaper, The Echo, about a year ago, you know, how are you going to make South End a city? And he said, I'm going to wear them down. I'm just going to keep going until they give in. And he won in the end. So South End being a city forever will be part of David's legacy. And he'll also be remembered as a great husband and father as a tremendous parliamentarian and as a brilliant constituency MP. Sure. 
Mark Francois speaking to me before that funeral service and his eulogy was very fitting and a really beautiful part of the service. He said, whatever the weaknesses of Parliament, David was the embodiment of all its strength. Really beautiful words from his friend Mark Francois there. Well, there will be that larger event tomorrow at Westminster Cathedral, a much more political affair where we will see politicians from across all parties gathering to pay their respects to Sir David. But today's event was about Sir David's family, about his friends and about local people saying goodbye to a much-loved and much-respected public servant.